In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of trip generation, looking at a procedure called normalization. The number of trips produced at home from home to work must equal the number of trips attracted at work. Two distinct models may give the two results. For instance, you can either assume that one model or the other is correct and adjust the second, or you can split the difference. It is necessary to assure that the total number of trip origins equals the total number of trip destinations, since each trip interchange, by definition, must have two trip ends. The rates developed for the home end are assumed to be the most accurate, and typically. And so the basic equation for normalization is given that if you want to adjust your destinations, the second equation, t sub j prime equals t sub j, your original number of trip destinations multiplied by the ratio of the sum of all trip origins divided by the sum of all trip destinations. So, we're going to have a problem here. Planners have estimated the following models for the AM peak hour. T sub i, the number of trip origins, equals 1.5 times H sub i, the number of households in the origin zone. T sub j equals 1.5 times E sub off j, the number of office employees in zone J, plus 1 times E sum other J, J, the number of other employees in zone J, plus 0 0.5 times the number of times E sub ret J, number of retail employees in zone J. You're also given the following data, shown in the table. First question is, what are the number of person trips originating in and destined for each city? Second, normalize the number of person trips so that the number number of person trip origins equals the number of person trip destinations. Assume the model for person trip origins is more accurate. Pause the video and solve the problem. So our solution is to use t sub j prime. Recall that equals t sub j times the ratio of the total number of trip origins to the total number of trip destinations. And that means that T sub J is equal to 37,500 over 36,750, which is 1.02. So our adjustment factor is 1.0204. The number of origins and destinations is simple algebra applying the two equations on the previous slide to the data on that slide. So we get a set of origins a set of destinations, a set of normalized destinations, and then we can round those to whole numbers subject to the total being equal to what the total number of trip origins is. So we've increased our destinations by 2.04%.